In C, there is a user-defined type called a union. It's similar to a struct, except all of the members of a union share the same address. Defining a union is similar to how you define a struct. In this example, I created a union Y, which has the members X and Y. We can instantiate a union assigned to its members, just like you would with a regular struct. Now, the interesting part comes when you try to print out the member X of this union. Keep in mind, the last member we assigned to was Y. Because every member of a union shares the same memory as every other member, when you assign to one member, the rest of the members get overwritten with the new value. Since the types of these two members are different, we end up with garbage in X. Now, let's take a look at how structs and unions handle memory addresses. Here's a code snippet where I'm getting the address of every member of a struct and a union. If we take a look at the output, the important thing here to note is that both members of the union sit on the same memory address, while with a struct, each member has its own address. If we call size of on our types, the struct gives us 16. Now, this is because of memory alignment, but we can get to that later. Our union gives us an 8, and this is because the size of a double is 8. A thing to remember is that the size of a union is the same as the size of its largest member. So no matter how many elements your union has, the size of it will always be the same as the largest member. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you later.